This is a, a competition of around 100 schools and, and groups of young people building their own electric vehicles of all kinds of sorts, having a race, having a go at it and seeing who the winner is. This is the uh, end of season final where all the uh, schools come together that have met, done, done well at the regional heats and compete for the uh, coveted prize. You have to win a heat through the year and then you'll get added up and then 70 of us can be here today. It's about inspiring engineers really, I would say. Yeah, it's a uh, paving the future, way for the future. It's encouraging people to think about it a lot more like from the younger generation. And it is about getting young people involved and thinking about green technology to the broadest extent possible. Pretty much means that you can ha have engineering in schools as well as maths English and science. We've got everything here today from good weather to over, I think, 70 entries. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Coming up for scrutineering, which is like the scrutineers come check your car. Scrutineering, they're basically checking the car and ev everything and checking if it's all right to race. And yeah. they, check, they check everything over to make sure it's all working properly. Uh, the car's being checked for any kind of faults or anything that we've kind of not done properly. Whether your engine switch is working, your fuses and all that. And um, see so whether your electrics are all working properly and uh, yeah, just checking the car over so it's safe. Scrutineers come to see if it's all like um, in the regulations, and is all like fit to race. Mainly, they check about the batteries, what size they've got, and they check that all the washers are tight and that the wires are in the right place and that everything works. They check if your brakes work, so they like do. You have to hold down your brakes and they push it. They check about the height, see in case it rolls over. How obviously getting that. Get out. Uh, so they check that um, I'm not too tall to drive the car because they need to be a certain distance below the top of the roll bar. You have to um, get out of the car in less than six seconds. He's trying to get out of the car, see if he can get out in an emergency. So. And then they also check that the struts fit properly. Most of the team have been building this car from scratch and taking part in racing it around the green power track. I'm looking forward to driving it because they've had good uh, results in the past and I think we'll do okay today. Last time we got through to the final so we did pretty well in that same. We started quite far back on the grid anyway. So we got a good start and overtook quite a few people. So yeah, it runs pretty quick so yeah, I think we'll do well. Top 10 at the very least. I had it taken to a wind tunnel in Southampton University and it's um, it was really, really aerodynamic. Staying on the inside line and keeping the batteries lasting for longer. I have to win. Yeah, yeah.
Okay. <laughs> a little bit nervous, but excited. Because I've never actually raced the car before. I was, and then I went out to practice, and it didn't quite go as well as I hoped it would. So, uh, you know, now I'm just going to go out and have some fun. Good fun, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it was really good, really, to be honest. It went really smoothly, and everyone was like really good, and we kind of practiced it quite well, so it's really good. The 24 plus is for 16 to 25 year olds, and it's a shorter race than the 24 race. So this is the eighth round of 24 plus, and it's us and about 20 other cars just trying to get points on the board, really. So, yeah, we're okay, racing against some pretty good cars, like Brian, which annoys me because they're better than us in every way. This one's 90 minutes and the other uh, 24 is about four hours long. The engine's just overheated. It tells us the temperature of the uh, motor. Um, that tells us the amps that I'm using. And that tells us the voltage of the batteries. So I heated the uh, motor, so we need to get it uh, cooled down. Up you go. Not bad, we're doing eighth, which is uh, which is quite decent um, regarding last year's position. So quite happy, enjoying the day. Uh, so we went for a quick pit stop and um, we failed, uh, sort of breaking a bit of the car. So yeah, we're well. we're involved as Siemens is the fact that it does tick a lot of boxes for us from the point of view of course it's about engineering and inspiring youngsters to get involved in science and uh, technology but also it's a team event and it's cross year it's not just one year group it's cross many year groups in a school and we think that's important as well to gender that team spirit within the school or college and indeed not only schools you get apprentices entering in the form of 24 plus etc so uh, you know we're just really pleased to be part of it. We want to give people a vision that technology, engineering, is the way forward. It's not just some dull thing to do, it's the future. It's the name of the future for this country and, and the world in total. was the first final that the team um, went to um, with with the first car which is um, a the blue, bug. Yeah, yeah, blue bug basically a kit car. car and since then we've um, this Zebedee is our fifth car so it's a lot of experience yeah. a lot of um, new designs yeah, and we've come out with the perfect combination at the moment <laughs> a lot of design a lot of testing and experiments really and just seeing what design works and trying one design if it doesn't work changing it slightly lots of experiments and lots of progression from that pretty special <laughs> Racing really, just the racing. Yeah, just looking forward to getting in the car and going away. Racing as hard as I can. We won 
wanted more aerodynamics so we didn't have wing mirrors on the side so we've got a little camera just back there so we have the screen telling us where or who's behind us and we also have stuff when to change gear and when to change down and it tells us all stuff. Well each car has at least five drivers so we have ten drivers overall. At the races we have a couple of people doing timings to make sure we don't go over the speed limit um, and also a couple of pit crew. Allowed four batteries for the two for the four hours of racing. So it's, we have two sets of two batteries. So you're racing for two hours. We're uh, changing the length of the batteries for the race so they're fresh and they'll work for the new batteries. This is where the batteries go in here. It slides up. And they just slip in there. Yeah, that's the data cable. What we do with the data is we work out who did the best laps and then try to adjust our own driving styles to match them. We've been doing lots of marketing and this was just one of the team's ideas to raise some money for our new car. Um, they're just top trumps, just similar to what you buy in the shops uh, with all the different green power cars. Basically we've included uh, all of the stats of the cars, how many, they've, how many races they've done. Yeah. We've won the marketing award uh, three years in a row. It's got a chassis that's made of like old state desks from a physics class in our school. The aluminium body that's new this year, yes we made of black plywood and we've got wood on here as well and covered it in uh, sticky vinyl to make it the same colour as all, everything else. Yeah, quite confident, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's got a core flute body, which is a lightweight, it's easy to proof if it gets damaged. Impact form inside the frame, because it's one of the kits from the actual Green Power organisation. Right, I'm one of the drivers, I drove this morning, and uh, so far the car seems to be performing to its full potential. I mean, we're getting up to about 2,000 RPM on the track, and hopefully we should come in the top few. Uh, it's belt driven, uh, it's got a steering wheel made by one of our sponsors, designed by me. Um, it's speed controller for QD. We've got a system where we undo that. In there we have a strap, we pull these and both the batteries come out together, they're actually duct taped together. Then we load in a second pair, it takes two of us to do that and one to change the driver. Last year when we had a full team of us we got it down to 54 seconds, no 45 I think actually. So we'll see how it goes today. We haven't been practicing, so we might be a bit off. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about being in the race. But uh, the world is a competitive place, and it doesn't really do harm to see that there are, you know, always places for the winners, and that it's not a bad thing to be a winner. We're gonna win. You're gonna win? Yes. Don't well, say that. We, we are do our best. We're just, gonna do our best. You just jinked us. No, we didn't. Shut up. We're gonna win. Ross, <laughs> you're so pessimistic. <laughs> It's just a four hour endurance race, basically you go in, you, get, you have all your batteries, you just go as fast as you can for a period of time. Whoever does the most miles at the end wins. Um, I think everything's going to go okay, but we're a bit nervous, as we always are. <laughs> I don't know how well we're going to do, we've got bad batteries, but let's just hope it's going to be a good race. Well, we came fifth last year, so we'd like to beat that, maybe. 
It depends if you have any problems or not, but hopefully you'll be okay. Yes, first final, so if we place anywhere, that'd be good. And we've got something to change for next year. It's endurance more than speed, so sort of yeah, I think I think we're good, re ready to go. Sick, I think so. Quite even. Um, he was coming in and someone hit him in the uh, lane. He sort of went into the back of them as well because he outbraked them, tried to outbraked them, but it didn't happen. No. One of the back markers, um, we were running what 10th at the time, something like that, um, and one of the back markers just came straight across me and took the front end of the car out. It's first bit stop today, uh, 40 minutes in. First off, uh, changing the driver. So that's uh, taking the seatbelts off. Then, of course, the new driver's getting in, putting the seatbelts back on. We've got a new helmet we're putting on as well, so we can talk to them on the um, radio. We've got the big radio stand over there. Well, we have been talking to our driver. Um, we're in the process of analysing the lap time so far and making decisions about the rest of the race based on our style. This is a CB radio we're using, connected to a long antenna. I can't tell you how long it is, but it is big. And it allows us to talk to the driver theoretically around the circuit. Absolutely no idea. I've only just got in it. Um, they told me that the uh, horn had broke, and then when I was in it, it started smoking. So I have absolutely no idea what's happened to that. We've got a little ammeter on our cars to tell us how much battery we're draining, and he must have pushed it a bit too much. It's just fallen underneath two hours. Um, hopefully, it will make it into the pits. So this is our car coming in now. They instantly take, turn the power off, push the car into our pits, um, get the driver out because the battery is located next to the driver. They have to get the driver out to do it. Take the battery out, get from the box the battery with the right size cable on it. From there, they just place the batteries in nicely, nice and smooth, making sure they fit well. This car's 10th, I think, but obviously with the problems we've just had, it might have dropped a few places. But with the new batteries, obviously it's a carbon fibre car, so it's very light. We should be able to gain lots of places again and get back up to a high position.
begin with the Institution of Mechanical Engineering Best Engineered Car That's with them Young Engineers